former President John Dramani Mahama and veteran journalist Kwesi Pratt Jr. who have lashed out at the Ghana Police Service for boycotting the IAWAS West Wagon by election violence commemoration. In a strongly worded condemnation, the two called into question the professionalism of the police, with President Mahama promising he will purge the police of unguarded elements. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. The event of January 31, 2019, an albatross on the neck of many who suffered injuries. The event many have said cast a slap on Ghana's democracy and a reflection of the 2020 elections. A year on, the scars are still fresh. While many lessons have been drawn from the dastardly act, questions have been raised about the decision of the police not to provide security for the commemoration of the NDC. I am totally shocked and disgusted by the conduct of our police service. And indeed, I'd like to use this opportunity to send a very clear and loud warning to our security services. No security force can stand against the will and determination of the people. And that ultimately, the people of this country will take their destiny into their own hands and they will defeat all the negative forces which intend to cause chaos and mayhem in our country. And I can assure them of that. Which po professional police officer will send a message like this? It shows the bastardization of the institutions of state that have taken place under this NPP administration. Of course, NDC is coming. We will reform the police service. While the police denied the NDC security of the anniversary, the police heavily secured the Baalishi school park grounds ostensibly to provide security for the MPP MP Lydia Al Hassan, who was marking the event. Former President John Mahama says for the government to ignore the short commission's recommendation is an embarrassment. It's the President, Nanado Danko Akufado who should be defending the law, make mockery of it, and thereby set a dangerous precedent by accepting that assault is permitted if one believes that one has been provoked. He threw a strong caution to persons aiming to perpetrate violence. Let me set notice that all those contemplating bloodshed and their promoters, that if they shed any Ghanaian blood on 7 2020, if by the grace of God I become president on 7 January 2021, they will be held individually to account for their actions. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.